What's going on, everybody? And I hope you're enjoying your Thursday morning so far. This is NYG Jeffy T85 here, and I can talk about yesterday's two Mets games. I mean, in reality, the Mets right now can't get out of their own way. And a lot of it has to do with the fact that this team just flat out can't pitch. Plain and simple, this team has a serious issue with their pitching staff. And that's including Max Scherzer right now. Because the Mets just dropped a double header yesterday in Detroit to the lowly Detroit Tigers. Game one, they lost when they were leading 5-4. to four. They ended up giving up a single to center to Hasig, which scored Baez and, Ver and Verling off of Adam Adovino, and the Mets couldn't muster up any more runs in the in game one of this doubleheader. Even though they had a little bit more offense than they, get in, they did in the first uh, second game, Pham, Canna, and Lindor all went deep in this game. So they had three home runs, which accounted for four of their five RBIs. <laughs> Tomas Nito even got an, an RBI as well, an RBI single. But the pitching, once again, Joey Lucchese gave up four earned runs, five hits, and a strikeout. No walks, though, but gave up those two home runs to Detroit. One to Haas and one to Baez. And the bullpen, Jakob Bonas pitched three scoreless innings with three strikeouts. That's the good. Adam Adovino gave up two hits, including that two, two RBI single by Haas in the bottom of the seventh. And the Mets dropped the first game, 6-5. to five. You thought that was bad. You thought it was bad in game one. Ladies and gentlemen, got a hell of a lot worse in game two. This is supposed to be the day you get Max Scherzer back. Max Scherzer's back, coming back to save the day. He's going to come back and it's going to reunite this team. I don't think so. Max Scherzer was absolutely terrible in his first game back after 10-game suspension. He only lasted three and a third innings, giving up eight hits, six RBIs, or six earned runs. He walked one, he struck out three, and he gave up two home runs, one to Haas and one to Veerling. Haas in the bottom of the second, we homered it 382 feet to the left, and then Veerling hit a two-run home run to center field. <laughs> Scherzer was absolutely terrible. And the bullpen, Zach, Mu Zach Muckenren, who came up from uh, the minor leagues, he was the only guy that didn't give up a run. I'm sorry, John Curtis didn't give up a run either. Jose Budo, Two and a third, gave up a run, did strike out two. The Mets pitching staff is right now absolutely beyond terrible. Absolutely beyond terrible right now. This team can't get out of their own ways. And they got absolutely, they got blitzed yesterday by Michael Lorenzen. Michael Lorenzen, who's pitching to a 5.14 ERA, pretty much stymied the Mets. And the only RBI that could muster was a double by Daniel Vogelback in the top of the fourth inning that scored Pete Alonso. <laughs> this team only had five hits all game. Five. Five hits against Michael Lorenzo, but I'm not even going to blame the offense because for the most part, the offense has played a lot better. It's the, the pitching. The Mets have a serious issue with the pitching on this team. Max Scherzer, Joey Lucchese, you know, Tyler McGill, David Peterson, Jose Budo, you know, Denry Reyes, Max Scherzer, Carlos Carrasco, even Kodai Senga. This is this has been an absolute beyond disaster for the New York Mets in terms of their starting pitching right now with this team. They can't pitch their way out of a... I know this is a cliched saying, 
They can't pitch their way out of a paper bag right now. That's how bad this pitching has been for this Mets um, team. And they've dropped two of the first games to the Detroit Tigers. Let that sink in. Today is going to be a very important day. Because you have the return or the debut in the, net, in the Mets starting rotation of Justin Verlander. And if anything, the Mets not only need a win today, but they need to get themselves a terrific starting pitching performance by Justin Verlander. You cannot go out there and do what Max Scherzer has done, what Kodai Singer recently has done, Joey Lucchese, Denry Reyes, Carlos Carrasco, Jose Budo, whoever it is. David Peterson, Tyler McGill, you need to get yourself a good, strong pitching performance today by Justin Verlander. The last thing the Mets can afford is another terrible pitching performance, especially from Verlander. I think the bats will be fine. I think the bats will be able to get it going in this game. I just don't know what to expect right now from... I don't know what to expect right now from this Mets lineup. I don't. I'm in mean, this Mets pitching step. I don't know what to expect. Eduardo, Resca, Eduardo, Eduardo, Eduardo Rodriguez is going to be pitching for the Detroit Tigers. He actually has a decent ERA, 2.21. 2 and 2 on the season. <laughs> But this was as big of a disaster these first two games for the New York Mets. And it's a lot to do with the pitching. So hopefully Justin Verlander can go out there and have a good, well-pitched game. Because they need it. They need to have themselves a better pitch game overall from one of their aces. Because Scherzer has not been good so far this season. Scherzer even when, before he got suspended, was awful. The Mets need Justin Verlander to pitch like Justin Verlander can. And they need to go out there and make a statement. Because if they lose today and Verlander doesn't look good, team is 16-16, and 16, 500. Pitching has been a disaster. One of the worst pitching staffs in the major leagues right now. And this team needs to seriously think about a way to turn it around. Pitching, starting with the pitching, the starting rotation. That's your Mets recaps. Mets have an absolute disastrous double hay, double header yesterday. And now they're 15, 16 and 16 and 15 on the season. And Justin Verlander making his Mets debut today on the mound. Hit that like button if you haven't already and give us up to NYG Jeffy T85. More news updates, chatter, and game recaps from running the New York Mets. Turn on those bells. Turn on the bell for those new notifications on the next video or short dropping on the channel. So running the New York Mets. And you guys let me know in the comment section what you thought about this uh whatever the hell you want to call it. Day day night doubleheader disaster for the New York Mets. And your state of the Mets going into today's game against the Tigers, the last of this three game series. Mets have already dropped the first two. Hopefully Verlander can go out there and pitch a better game. Thank you very much, everybody. Enjoy the rest of your Thursday. Take it easy, and let's go New York Mets as always. All you got to do is you got to believe in those boys from Queens.